Welcome to Philly in the Philippines. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So, what did you think of that intro? In case you missed it, here it is again. Welcome to Philly in the Philippines. Sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, guys, so what have I been up to? You know what? The past week it's been raining so much, I decided I'm going to try some AI programs. AI, the future of everything, right? Artificial intelligence. So I was checking out a few of the, um, the AI programs, right? Try it for free. Try it for free. Well, I tried them for free. However, you can only try like this much <laughs> of the free program. It gives you about five seconds worth. And then you try programs and you sit there and you got everything all set up. And then you go to hit download and it goes, oh, your free program doesn't include that. Now, in order to continue, subscribe. <laughs> eh, whatever. You know, it was fun. Um, I did put together something you guys are going to see here later on in this video. Um, but here's what, here's what I found. It was funny. I did this one where, as you've seen in the beginning, I used a different accent, right? I used my photo and my lips were moving. It was a photo, right? Different accent, different voice from me. Um, but I found it funny because AI is so intelligent. However, you guys will see in the video and listen to how AI is pronouncing words. I started laughing. <laughs> yeah, the wave of the future, yet... AI can't even pronounce words, right? Even I have a hard time, but I'm human. I'm a human person and I have a hard time pronouncing words. AI is supposed to be the, the go-to, right? Uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun, but subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, if you subscribed and or if I subscribed to everyone that I thought was pretty cool, I'd have a hundred bucks a month easily in subscriptions. But um it was fun. Like I said, I, I was just playing around. I click on it, watch it, click on a YouTube video to show me how to do it. And uh, it was fun. So anyways, guys, with that being said, you guys check out the video. I think it's pretty cool. I put a lot of time and a lot of hours into it. Um, so anyways, check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave the comments below. Don't unsubscribe. I am not going AI. It's not my thing. I enjoy what I'm doing. You guys enjoy what I'm doing. But anyways, let me know what you think. Um, and I guess enjoy the, the little AI video, my first AI project and probably me, my last AI project. So check it out. Let me know what you think. 10 Strange Animals Found in the Philippines The Philippines' 7,107 islands is home to a wide variety of colorful and majestic creatures. We have rich diversity of fauna and flora that can be seen on land, sea, and sky. In fact, we have 7, 492 species of mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and plants scattered all over the country. Aside from cute and lovable, there are also a number of strange creatures that call the Philippines home. Here are 10 strange animals that can be found in the country. Flying Dragon Although dragons are commonly thought of as ferocious, giant animals that breathe out fire, flying dragons are the opposite of these. They are small lizards that live off eating insects. They actually can't fly. Rather, they glide in the air using their elongated ribs. These little lizards use their gliding ability to navigate through the forest to locate food, find mates, and protect their territories. Local hunters believe that the flying dragons is poisonous, but after thorough studies, scientists have found that these lizards are harmless. This wrong idea did do them some good since hunters tend to stay away from them. Stripe-faced flying fox. This large flying creature may look like a cat with wings, but it's actually a type fruit bat that's endemic to the island of Mindoro. Also known as the Mindoro stripe-faced fruit bat, it's another recent discovery added to the country's fauna list. 
The explorer Jacob Esselstyn discovered these flying foxes through local stories about a fox-like creature that had distinct markings on their faces. These flying foxes are actually related to the Sulawesi stripe-faced fruit bats, which are endemic to Indonesia. Both these creatures have the same white stripes on their brow and jaw. Philippine tube-nosed fruit bat. Another fruit bat on the list, the Philippine tube-nosed fruit bat is distinguished not by facial marks, but with their pointy, tube-like nostril. They can be seen flying through the rind forests of Sabayan, Negros, and Cebu. Despite their alien-like facial features, these fruit bats only feed on fruits and insects. Sadly, these bats are tagged as critically endangered. Over the years, deforestation and human settlements have caused major damage to their habitat, greatly affecting their population. Tar's ears, when it comes to weird features, tar's ears have it all. Their bodies can grow to about 3 inches in height, and their tails grow longer than their bodies. They also have large eyes and small round ears which makes them look even more adorable. Tar's ears are mainly found in the town of Kerel in the island of Bohol. Conservation actions are being done to help preserve the population of wild tar's ears, since many of the locals used to capture these animals and sell them in the illegal pet trade. Although they look like monkeys, they are actually a member of the Tarsidi family. Palawan Bearded Pig Wild pigs or baboy ramo are one of the wild animals that still roam the forest of the Philippines. However, the Palawan bearded pigs are not the usual wild pigs. They are distinguished by their white beard and their hairy face. They also have a longer snout and canin-like teeth. Although they look scary, these pigs are actually quite gentle. They have a more laid-back or sedentary nature. Mala Palawan bearded pigs often live alone while females live in matriarchal groups. Originally, they were classified as a subspecies of the Bornean bearded pigs, but were later named as a new individual species. Philippine Flying Lemur Locally known as the Kagwong or Kalugo, many people mistake this animal as a giant bird as it flies from one tree to another. Actually, this animal is a type of lemur endemic to the southern and eastern areas of the Philippines. They are the only member of the genus Cynocephalus. Their face resembles a dog while its body looks like that of a flying squirrel. They don't actually fly, but they use the flaps under their arms to glide gracefully through the air. These animals can even glide to a distance of 100 meters. This fast escape plan helps them get away from predators, such as the majestic Philippine eagle. Turbo Claw Lobster Its name makes it sound like a giant sea monster that's out to destroy the world, but the Turbo Claw Lobster is about the size of a regular prawn. It got its name from one of its claw, which grows to a long, thin pincher. This creature was discovered off the Luzon Island back in 2007. It was named Dinocolis Osubeli, which literally means turbo claw. Tamaraw. Many people find it strange to see these animals in the wild, thinking that they are common water buffalo or carabao. However, they are actually a wild cousin of the common water buffalo and are the largest native terrestrial mammal in the Philippines. The Tamaroy is endemic only to the country, specifically in the island of Mindoro. They are distinguished by their hairy bodies and V-shaped horns that don't grow as long as the carabaos. Sadly, these animals are tagged as critically endangered and can only be seen in a few, isolated grassy plains. Palawan bear cat, an animal that has the face of a cat, a tail like a monkey, and a body of a small bear. The Palawan bear cat or Binturong belongs to the Viviridae family, which is more commonly known as civet or the civet cat. Its physical features is not the only thing that makes it strange. The Binturong also has a strange musk that smells more like buttered popcorn. 
This smell comes for a gland found under their tails. It's a way for them to mark their territory and communicate with their kind. Bubble sharks. The water around the Philippines has a couple of shark species, most of which are harmless. Bubble sharks have a distinct feature that makes them stand out from the other shark species. These sharks can puff up, like a puffer fish, by pumping water into their bellies. By making themselves look big, they scare off any predators that could possible turn them to lunch. Bubble sharks may look intimidating, but they are actually a harmless, deep-sea, shrimp-eating shark. This new species of swell sharks have a lighter spot or camouflaged pattern to them.